What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, we're back over here by the uh, Harry Potter-inspired build because I figured we would uh, decorate the outside of the building just a little bit more. Kind of lacking a little bit, in my opinion. And then I figured we would also get to work on cleaning up the inside and making it look a little bit better in here. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking we've got so much of the black wool... At this point, it almost seems logical to just make all of the walls just black wool, you know, because it really wouldn't take that much to fill it in. And then we could probably use like blackstone or something to uh, kind of trim it off and tie it together. And that might look not too bad because, I mean, we're not really going to be in here all that often. So we don't need it to be anything, you know, too spectacular. But we will also need to figure out a way to... Uh, actually get up into the second floor which may end up just being like a ladder or possibly a like spiral staircase in the middle we'll have to play with that a little bit and figure something out but one of the first things i wanted to do here as it kind of reaches uh nighttime is get some redstone lamps up on top of these uh stairs that are kind of protruding right here just to give it a little bit of extra detail and the one thing i did want to do was put daylight sensors on top of them but you can see, even when they're set to night mode, apparently, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the uh, mods or what, but I thought that sunlight could pass through stairs. I thought stairs were not full blocks. I thought they were transparent, but apparently they are not. So we are going to have to improvise a little bit and hit it with one of these, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and just do the... Daylight sensor on top of that in negative mode, and then we will put a redstone dust to it, and that should turn on and off as intended. So let's go ahead and do that for this one as well, which is going to be a little trickier because it kind of goes off both ways. So what I think we'll actually do for this one is if we pop a slab right here, is there a block above us? There is not. So this one we can get away with not having the uh the redstone dust i think let's go ahead and set that to a uh, night mode uh is there yeah, there's nothing above me so this one should hypothetically work just fine so click that does it go off interesting all right you know what we're gonna do a, a quick sleep test here and figure out if things are just being wonky or if I just don't know the mechanics like I thought that I did would be the case but uh let's see here is that still that's still on okay well and that right there actually looks pretty awful so hmm what are we gonna do here uh we can't come out the sides because that's gonna look super wonky uh let's see oh this might take some uh some figure in here so let's get back up so yeah I guess the uh, first part of this episode is going to be trying to uh, you know make this all kind of come together and not look terrible so let's do uh, planks where are my planks throw a plank there and then we'll break that we'll get up on top of here and break that and then we will grab our stair Place that right there. And do we want to do them on the sides? Because, uh, I mean, we could do a slab on either side. That might not look too weird. Oh, but then there's going to be the gap. So I guess. Hmm. You know what? Let's free cam it. Take a step back, look at it objectively. That actually doesn't look too bad with the slightly higher up pillar. I think we may keep that. Oh, but you know what? No, because we do need the sides disguised. Because we're going to remove this to put the redstone dust there. So yeah, we're going to have to do something like this and just accept it. So let's see. Let's get our daylight sensor and we can put that on here. Set it to night mode and then get a redstone dust and that reach. That will not reach. Okay, so we're going to have to get even fancier and hit it with one of these and then put the redstone dust on like so and then that should turn on at night. 
All right. Take a step back and see how that looks. That's... Yeah, no, I hate it. I officially hate it. All right, well, I'm going to play with this for a second. And when I uh, actually decide on something, I will come back and show you. So give me just a moment. I think I'm overthinking this, but... All right, I think I like this a little bit more. We ended up just taking our uh, stair that we've got right there, putting a little trap door under, so that way we can see the light through the bottom. Just chucking the redstone lamp on there and then the uh, daylight sensor on the top. We may grab some dark oak to kind of match them to what we've got going on over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that in for the rest of them and then we will uh, move on to the next stage of the build, which, uh, I'm kind of thinking we need some leaves up here to break this up, but I'm going to have to play with it just a bit. So give me just a moment and uh, yeah, I'm going to get the lights in and then we'll uh, keep going. So, Alrighty, so spent a little bit of time, got the lights all sorted out, got the uh, dark oak on them and everything. And I think they look pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So I also changed up the front a little bit and I kept it nighttime just so we could kind of get really get the full experience add a little archway right here kind of recess parts of the door to give it a little bit more depth i think it actually looks a lot better this way and then went ahead and added some of the uh, dark oak you know contrasty little signs right there as well to match the rest of the, the lights these ones i had to tweak a little bit but you know i think it actually works out pretty well it doesn't look too bad and then over here it's just the uh, same as the other side you know we kind of got our Unfinished side right there that'll join up with that building in the future. But I think next up, we need to uh, do something about in here. And for that, I'm going to need to grab some materials. So you'll have to give me just a moment and we will meet back up and do something about this uh, monstrosity here. So see you in a sec. All right, so here we are. We're back and it's time to uh, get some more in here so i guess we'll start by trying out maybe some polished blackstone down along the bottoms here i think that actually looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and do that get this all filled in and then you know what we'll put something right there so we can put like a little potted plant or something in the corner i think that could actually be pretty decent now for over here is where things are going to get a little bit tricky because Let's see, so we can bring the wool down right here like so. But these take up that space. Mm. What's going on with those on the other side? That's gonna be a problem. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't really know if there's anything we can do about that be completely honest because we've got the uh other stuff on the top unless all right you know what you're gonna have to give me a second to uh, do some redstone fiddling here and see if i can't uh no because we got the thing i you know what we're just gonna leave it how it is and just go ahead and cover up the rest of the walls here and then maybe what we'll do is we'll come i'll oh, see we can't even come out one right there because of those hmm Okay, you know what we can do? We can take this one and this one and put those back and then we can do that and then that and then we can trim that off right there and then for the trap doors, we can just go ahead and put those back on the outside like so. So it'll just fit. All right, perfect. Very good. All right, we'll get rid of this one and this one so we can keep the polished going right there and there. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, fill this in. We've got some very uh, black walls here, but that is completely okay. Perfect. All right, looking good so far. Let's go ahead and get one of those there and bring this down. All right, so far, so good. So next up, I think what we're going to have to do is uh, pull this chest and then pull the floor out in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, get down a calcite floor to match what we've got up there, and then we'll rejoin and uh, figure out what we're gonna do with this bit. So give me just a sec. All right, so got a little ahead of ourselves, but here we got it. We come inside, we've got, you know, replaced all of the stone brick right here with the uh, polished black stone to tie in with the accents on this wall. Put some, you know, little, I forget what those are, chiseled black stone, I don't know. 
But got that in there. Uh, added a little light up there. Looks nice. Got some bushes or uh, little trees in the sides here. Maybe I'll make those one taller. I haven't really decided yet, but like those, add some color, pop a color to the otherwise kind of plain room and ties things in with the turtles. So you can still go up right here to access the turtle breeder. And then if you come over here or on the other side over there, I've got ladders that go up to the axolotl area up here at the top, which I still need to uh, pull this over and connect that up with that. But we'll just pretend that that is not like that for the moment. Uh, for the blue right here, I'm still debating. I think I'm going to leave the windows open. I was considering putting uh, like cyan wool behind this, but I don't think that that's going to ultimately look that great in the end. And I just noticed that we have one too many of those. So we'll pull that out. But yeah, up here is looking uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And actually, do I have quartz in here? Nope, just the... Actually, I do not smooth quartz. All right, well, I'll have to get some uh, regular quartz and fill in the ceiling. But what really is important is that we got, you know, downstairs done. Maybe we'll throw, like, some plants or, like, a little, you know, planter box or something up here just to kind of make this look a little bit nicer and hide that little uh, bit of wool right there. I mean, we could flip the stairs, but you know what? I, not that big of a deal to me. Or, actually, wait, let's... uh. Smooth quartz, we'll grab that, and just real quick, what we could do is just go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, actually, that, that's a good way to good way to do that. So, all right. I think that is actually going to do it for today. I mean, we got the uh, inside pretty much taken care of. Right here, we've got the little uh, just kind of door that goes down to the empty space that we have from the... Uh, failed uh glow squid farm down here but i'm thinking we can actually probably dig this deeper and make this into a uh forest fruit farm you know put dispensers in the walls with you know arrows and all that fun stuff maybe do something kind of crazy like that but not today today i think uh that's gonna be it so as always if you like the episode make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out Check out all my links in the description below. Leave me a comment while you're down there because I love reading your guys' comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.